As it says in a 2011 study by the company Logitech, they found that 4% of lost remotes ended up in the fridge or the freezer. Asking five people if their remotes were found in the fridge or freezer, was the probability that one of them would say yes. Now at this time, we do not have the formula for the binomial theorem, but we will develop it uh, in this problem. So let's suppose that here are five people, and we want this one to say yes, and these are our notes. Well, as it says that the chance that they say yes is 4%, so as a decimal, because it's easier to work with, would be 0.04. And then the no's would be 0.96. And the reason that is, is because if 4% say yes, then 96% say no. So we want the first person to say yes, and the second person to say no, and the third person to say no, and, the and so on and so forth. So in between these numbers are multiplications. But do not multiply that just yet, because for the setup of this problem, we assume that the first person was the yes, and the next people's were the no's. But that person who said yes could have been second, meaning we could have had no, yes, no, no, no. Or could have been third, no, no, yes, no, no. Could have been fourth. Or could have been last. So we would be finding each of these possible outcomes and finding their probability. And notice it would be the exact same setup where you'd have four 0.96s and one 0.04s. So the only thing that we'd have to add to this is the number of ways the one person could say yes out of five people total. That turns out to be a combination of five people. We want one yes. So all in all, the formula for a binomial probability would be a combination of the number of trials, we had five trials because we asked five people, combined with the number of successes, we want one person to say yes, multiplied by the probability of success, which is 0.04, raised to the number of successes, one, times the probability of failure. Well, a failure in this case would be a no, and that would occur 96% of the time, so 0.96 and we want four failures. So you can put this into your calculator, pretty much how it's written. Sorry that I'm blocking a little bit over here. So I can say um, five math probability and CR one, so five combination one, times 0.04 to the first, times 0.96 to the fourth and hit enter. So we have a 16.99% chance that in a group of five people, one would say yes. Now in your calculator, depending if you have a multi-line calculator like I have here, there is a built-in binom PDF. Let me show you what that looks like. If you go to second uh, distribution. Distribution is about bars. And it's easier if you scroll up and you're looking for binom PDF. And you would say there are five trials. The probability of success is 0.04. And the number of successes would be just one. If you have an older style calculator, uh, this is what it will appear to be, binom PDF 5 comma 0.04 comma 1. And then if you hit enter, notice you get the same answer. So if you don't want to do all the typing and you have a newer calculator, you can use the binom PDF. If you don't have a newer calculator and you love doing all the typing, then you can type it in the first way we showed you.